Hey everybody, I want to show you how to use Collaborate. I'm so excited about this new tool that we have. So right here is the link that I've given you and um, you're going to copy that and paste it in here. And we're going to go. So right now this is a V room for me. And a V room, um, it seats up to three people so I can work with two other people in the V room. Um, later on I'm going to get a Collaborate Classroom and that seats up to, I don't know, 50 I think. So depending on which link you get um, when you see this video, it doesn't really matter, but just so you know, V-Room is for three people. A Collaborate Classroom is for more people. So I put in a name here and this would just be the name that is shown in the online classroom. And I'll say Meet Now and Collaborate. All right, so here I want to right click and download the file. And it just has kind of a lot of stuff to download it. It always asks me all these prompts. So I'll run it. And it seems to take a minute to get things going. Now, um, this is not going to come as a surprise, but uh, I have a second computer on my desk. I know, very high geek factor. But in that machine, I'm logged in as Carol Billing moderator. And so here we are in the Collaborate Classroom. I'm logged in here as Eric Billing. And I have, for some reason, I enter the room with my hand up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down because I'm good. I don't have a question. Um, and here in the screen, this is what you see on the moderator's desktop. So I could open up a file. If you had a question about something going on in class, we could go into the Blackboard Classroom well, when the IE doesn't <laughs> break. Um, assuming the IE is going to work, we could go in there and look at something. I could pull up a document if you had a question and we could look at something. We could also um, go somewhere on the internet to look at something. Mm, whatever. Anything you can do on your computer, you can share. And the cool thing about it is you can come up here and, um, well, actually, I have to give you moderator privileges first. Let me do that. So, Hang on a second. And you are now also a moderator. So what that means is you have all the special powers. So you can go up here and you can request cursor control and that means you would use my mouse on my computer to show me something. Um, so we could stop sharing and now you could start sharing and share your entire desktop with me. And now I can see what you um, have on your computer. So in this case, this was what we were, we were looking at. And you can see here's the sticky I was working on. I'll move that out. So here's the train background. That, that means you know you're looking at um, Eric's desktop. So when you're done sharing something with me, um, and you can see the yellow band around the edge as well. That means you're sharing whatever's in that band. So this is why I have two computers set up. It's because I can see one is what the student sees and the other one is what I'm actually showing. Okay, so to finish sharing, you go here to Tools, Application Sharing, and you say Stop Sharing. And so it takes it out of your machine and now you're back seeing what's on the moderator's machine. Pretty slick, huh? Okay, you also have a live chat here. If your headset stops working or there's some reason you can't talk, you can type in your question. We can do it that way. Um, we can call on the phone. I think the easiest way though is to use your talk button here. So when you click that on, it will, um, I can hear your voice and we should be able to talk back and forth. If you have a webcam set up, you can click the video and we can actually see each other. I don't currently have a webcam, but I might have one later. Um, okay, so when you first log on to set up your audio, you go here to Tools Audio Audio Setup Wizard, and you want to go through this, these um, dialog boxes to make sure you have the right features selected. And so it'll do a couple of tests, a test for your speakers and a test for your microphone. And once those clear, then you know you're good to go and I can hear you and you can hear me. All right. Um, so this is sort of slow because this machine I'm logged onto here is kind of archaic. 
um, stop that. I think I missed hitting a button over here. There we go. All right, so it takes a little bit of finesse, but once you get it, it's really a great way to work and share information or answer questions, and you can do it from home, so that's kind of handy. If you enter, if you email me a question, I might email you a question back saying, can you meet me in the V room real quick and I can look at what you're talking about or we can um, look at your classes or whatever. So I think that's it. That's enough to get you started. The V room is always open. Once you have that link, you can log in and play with the tools and um, you can't break it. So feel free to, to go in and test your, um, your audio. So, Sometime, if you just want to make sure your headset works, you can do that. So the V room is always open, always available. Okay, that's enough. Talk to you soon. Bye.